Hello, this is Rob Pagorni, the technical chair for the 2017 GRC annual meeting. What I want to show everyone how to do today is um, the process we're going to follow for submitting your papers and also how we'll do our reviews and formatting your papers for the 2017 annual meeting. So thank you for interested in the GRC and our annual meeting. Um, let's go to it. So we're going to start right here from the GRC annual meeting page. And what you'll see here, here of course, is our flyer um, for this year's meeting. But you'll see a few links here. One is to submit your papers online. So this year, um, what we'll be doing is using an online electronic um, service to submit the papers and handle our reviews and essentially manage the, the process of getting everyone's papers submitted and prepared for the meeting. Uh, but also, in addition to that, um, this year we actually have built a, a, paper, a paper template, a Word, Microsoft Word template, for you to actually write, use to write your paper. So all papers for the for this year's meeting will have to be follow this paper template that we've created. So let me just show you. We'll click this template, and um, I'm going to download that file um, and show you what it looks like. So here actually, um, go away, is the um, the template for the file. Let me make the zoom a little bit bigger here. But this actually essentially is the Word template for the GRC. Um, the paper template. So essentially everything is set up for you with the sizes, the styles, the line spacing, it's all done. Essentially what you do is write your papers in this template um, and when you're done then we'll actually we'll go through the process of submitting the paper. So I've already written a, a kind of a test paper here. I'm going to show you how we're going to go through and upload it. But uh, um, before we do there's one other thing we need to, th to look at and that is the um, license to use and reproduce the paper, essentially um, GRC's copyright form. You'll have to fill that out and also upload it with your paper. So those links for either you know, the government style papers or the government sponsored papers versus the regular, both those links are here. So you have to ask, as before, let me just, I'll just pull this up and show what it looks like. This form is the same as it, um, as it has been in the past. You have the title of your article, um, you go through for all the authors you know, you'll sign and print your name and show your organization here. Now, um, because we're doing these, uploading these automatically, um, you can actually, each author can do their own and you can upload them, you know, separate files for these. Um, the system will only allow us to upload five files um, per paper. So if you have 10 authors, um, let's go through and, you know, at least get, you know, four or five authors per, per signature sheet. But um, regardless of that, so this is the same form as always been used in the past. Um, so let's go back. So now we have our paper written. It's on the correct template. We have our license to use and reproduce form complete and signed by the authors. Now let's go through and submit the paper. So we'll follow this link right here. And where that's going to take us to is um, what's, it's called the Conference Management Toolkit. It's actually a Microsoft um, web service um, for the scientific community. Um, and what we'll do is essentially for all of these things, it's defaulting to my, my personal information here. But what we're going to do essentially as a new submitter coming through, you put your email address in. And I'm just going to put my personal address in here. And a password and you'll hit create account. So follow this link. What that's going to do, it's going to take you to the create a new account page. And once again, this is defaulting to my, um, my, my personal or my work account here. So you go through to create your account, um, enter your passwords, or create a password, choose a password, and don't forget your password. You, we'll have, you'll have to come back into the system um, throughout the whole process of the review, acceptance, and everything else. So, um, you know, remember your password, um, and, and we'll go from there. So, I'll also put our, our name in here. I'm just going to put um, and it's going to ask you for a phone number. Phone number is optional, um, but we really like it if the lead authors would, would put your phone number in here. If we need to contact you the day of or thereabouts to make sure that um, we'd be, uh, if we have any changes, uh, we want to be able to reach out to you. So if you have a cell phone number, we'd appreciate, and that's not my number, but uh, um, we would appreciate you putting that number in here. And there's also a verification step to make sure that you're not some spam bot computer coming in here. So um, let me certify this and click the agree button and then register. So once you register, it'll go through, it'll create your account. Um, and essentially what you come to the author console would you do that so 
once you're at the author console, you're ready to start submitting your paper. So we're going to come here and click create new submission and it's going to take us to the submission page um, where we'll have to go through and we'll put the title in here and then abstract. So what I would recommend to do, this, this is actually something that will limit it to be used for the web application for the meeting. Um, we limit the abstract here just to a thousand characters or less. So if you want to take you know the, the first paragraph or two um, out of your paper or just you know enough to concisely kind of give an idea of what your paper is about, I'm just going to paste the first paragraph or first two paragraphs in here of this. So that's that's you know and we'll go from there. So the next thing is you notice is actually the authors. So we have our title, we have our abstract. Um, you notice on my paper there were two authors. There was me and there was my co-author John Doe. So we're going to add a second author. Once again, this is all by emails. So um, and I'm just this is all fictitious. Um, so we're going to add John Doe. Um, John Doe is not in the conference management system. Um, so we'll go through and actually add this information. And add. So now there's two of us in here. Both authors are in here. We have an email address for each author and the name. If you want to reorder the list of authors, you can put as many authors in here as you want. Um, if you want to reorder the, the authors or change the contact, the primary author, it's all by button here. So we'll leave it as it is. I'm, I'm the, the lead author here. John is my co-author. We'll go from there. So the next thing we'll do is choose our primary and secondary topic areas. Um, and if, if, you, if you don't fit any of these, you can actually add your own right here. I would ask you to really closely look to see if you fit within one of these so, uh, and, and then make it a whole lot easier to organize things and keep our sessions together. But um, we'll go from there. So you choose, you know, I'm just going to choose drilling. And for a secondary um, topic here, you could choose more than one. I think you could choose two. Maybe it's only one, two. So, um, so there's our primary and secondary topic areas. So that'll help us when we used to go to organize this thing. Now, the next is we have to upload those files. So I'm going to just upload the uh, that GRC test paper that I just showed a moment ago. Um, pop, it's uploaded. And I'm also going to upload the copyright submission form. This is the PDF, and um, the other one's a Word file. So the system's only going to allow you to either upload a DOC, or a DOCX, or a PDF file. That's the only thing it's going to take, uh, one of those things. And you know, right now, up to five files is what you can, can upload. So there's... So we're under control. John and I have signed this, and we have our paper. And we'll just have to answer a few more questions, and these questions that you would see usually on the hard copy submission form from years past. So um, you choose whether you, what kind of how you want to present the paper, whether it's oral, um, a, a poster, or however you want to do it. Or, you know, so I'm just going to choose both, or actually I'll choose both, um, and we'll tell it how much has been previously presented before. And for this, it's you know, for our paper here, it's it's none. If you did actually publish or this work had been published um, significantly for, provide the details in this block of where. So give the journal and the date um, in here and put that in there so we know. And if you presented it before, also you know, so um, tell us how much of this work has been just presented orally. And if you did, where? Um, of course, the paper we're doing, it's 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 all new work or something like that. So, and the last thing you do is that you have to agree that um, you're going to submit the paper that you will attend the meeting, um, at least one of the authors will be there to present um, the paper at the meeting. So once all these things are checked, um, we'll hit submit, it uploads a file into the system, and we come back to the next page here, which will be kind of a, a summary of the submissions. So you can go through and test and make sure that everything is fine, your authors are in the right order, the bold author here is the lead author, um, we'll go through all that, our files are both here. We do this, once we're all happy with this, we just come back, go back to the author console. And from the author console, what you'll see here actually, so here's the test paper. This is the paper, it's a paper number. And we can come back through and if you submit multiple papers, all of your papers will show up here in a list um, with multiple papers there. So since what we've gone through is we've uploaded our paper, um, we've created our account, it's all there, it's in the system, and we should, now that we're happy. So uh, at this point, your paper is in and the dates for the reviews and things are posted. You will get notices and review comments will all come through your author console. Um, once we get closer to that, we'll post another video for how to handle the review process and, and getting your revised paper up. But that's that's a topic for, for another talk. So thank you, and we look forward to seeing your papers and seeing you at the GRC meeting this fall.